Yeah, I love those tower silos. <laughs> Wait, what happened, Kyle? <laughs> Did you lose it? It weighs too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking heavy. There is a weight at the shop, but you might need to throw it on the back of, like, the, the orange truck or the green truck and drive real slow. <laughs> I'm just going to come pick up the weight. Okay. Do you want me to reset it to the farm, or is it easier for you to go to the shop? Uh... Oh, I thought we had it at the farm. No, there's a big weight at the shop. There might be one at the farm, too, but for sure there's one at the shop. Ah, come on. Uh, like. I'm right here at the farm, so I'll look here and see what's going on. Hey, uh, whoa, excuse me. Backblast area clear. <laughs> Everybody get down, belch. I think if we cut before that snow on Thursday... Yeah. Should have you know we should get you know a half cut. Yep, and get enough get enough uh, hay and hay and silage. Pay the whole mess. You want do you want to do all hay? Yeah. Sure, because then if we start running low on we we're kind of low on silage though, but we could do just all we could do just like one silage and two hay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Save on bailing time, too. Let go. This first bail is always the hardest. I know you, you aim the... seems like if you aim the forks down, it does let go, but... For some reason, when this thing reverses, it gets a lot more gas sound. It's like... <laughs> Well, it's it's a shorter gear. Oh, good point. That way, it's got you know power to move in reverse. I like the sound it makes. It's like, I'm like, yeah, get that puppy firing. All right, let go. I don't mind stealing hay. Huh. All right, I guess. Wait, what happened? What's the matter? Oh, oh. All right. Well, I don't know where that weight is. So. Do you want me to reset it? Yeah. Okay, let me uh, hang on. Give me one second here. I'm going to go to the thing and go to the thing and then reset. There, it should be at the farm where the reset stuff goes. Yep, there it is. There she blows. Oops. <laughs> what now happened? The now the tractor's like driving funny because the front end is barely S touching the ground. Sticking up. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. That's a big weight. Which big freak. Right. <laughs> I'm going to push this back a little bit and get the rest of this off. Do you mind if I turn the. Let's see. Oh, that's a cool idea, Jeremy. Yeah, I like with how they're coming up with a lot of good mods for the feeding system. Yeah, we got a lot of straw. We're, we should be good. Um, okay, so let me let me think about this. I'm going to turn off the stop and go braking because it's making me crazy. Do you care? Doesn't affect me. Okay. That's a personal setting. Or turn it on. I mean, that's personal. Much better. With a joystick, I like oh, it, but with it, the... It did affect me. Oh, well. What happened? That setting did affect me. Oh, oh weird. Well. I'm worried about it. Do you like it better or no? I can go back if you like it. It doesn't matter. I find I have to push a lot I'm more to make it work. Like... Well, it's because you have to stop and then... Like, press it again? Yeah. It's like an RC car works. That's how RC cars work. 
unless you have them in crawler mode, like I run mine, and then it stops, and then it goes in reverse. When you press forward, it goes forward. When you press backwards, it goes backwards, and that's it. Come on. Let go. Let go. Let go. Jump in. Kyle's making the money. I'm organizing the barn. This is what farming's all about. I, I've really, really enjoyed this farm, Kyle. And I think it's because we can run these small tractors and they're, they do everything we need them to do. Like, we could get a bigger tractor, and if we get a bigger field, we will need a bigger tractor. But for right now, it's, like, perfect. Everything's, like, the right size. Yeah. Even the cedars, I didn't feel like our seeding this time was that difficult, you know? Yeah. Because now that we got both cedars running, it's like, it's good stuff. Yeah, except we're still using that little green meter. Um, I'm sorry, Jeremy, which tutorial? Are you talking about the one, the, the Farm Sim 17? Um, how to start your farm is a new tutorial. I just made that yesterday. I waited, you know, it's a hard tutorial because unlike 15 where things were pretty clear... Uh, this version of the game has a lot more going on, so it's hard to make a tutorial to tell people, oh, this is the way you should do it. It's, there's really no right way to do this game anymore. There's a million different ways you can do it, and most of them work well. So um, I had a hard, I struggled with making a, uh, a good tutorial, but I've had a lot of people asking me to do it, so I finally caved and did it yesterday. And, and you guys have no idea how long it took me to make that video. It was ridiculous. I think I, between problems with OBS and then just problems like like getting it to say what I wanted it to say, ugh, I think I spent like seven hours on that video or more. I, I worked till 3 o'clock in the morning on it last night. I started working on it at about 10 and then uh, picked it up again this morning for another two and a half hours uh, to make it. But those videos usually do really well. Like my most watched video is the, the 2015 version of that video. So each month, that, that vi the 15 version does really well. So I figure it's time to do it for 2017. I know the video will be worth it, but it's just it's a ton of work. So oh, come on. At least you only have to make it once. Right, exactly. Unless you wanted to make, like, a tutorial for every single way to start the farm. Right. <laughs> well, I went over the basics of, like, fun. And 80 different videos. Right. I went over the basics of like um, of picking like the equipment, like what kind of equipment should you be looking for, and and you know, what what to do with old equipment on a farm if it's worth keeping or if it's worth selling, and then what kind of equipment you should buy um, once you have that. So, um, you know, like 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 if you if you decide you don't want to keep the old equipment, then like what what is the best set that you can buy, you know, on a starter farm. And then I also showed them the doing the grass baling, how that pretty much makes the most money out of anything in the game. So, if you if you buy a bale wrapper and you do grass, you're going to make a ton of money. So, I'm sorry, Kyle, what were you about to say? All the same stuff. All the same stuff. <laughs> I don't know where to put this trailer. I guess we could stuff it under here. But that's one of the great things about the farm sim is that there's just a million ways to, to do it, especially the new version. Like, there is, right. is no right or wrong. That is all of that pellet set sold. Awesome. Uh, it was about $8,000, so definitely worth it. So, I'm sorry, $7,249. So now the prices do fluctuate on those, but... If we take a whole truck full, we're going to get like thirty or forty thousand dollars. So that's good stuff. Yeah. What's up, Soupy? I think it was good to just get you know knock that one out. Right. See how it worked. At the turn. F oh no. This. I'll leave that weight up there. Okay. The log place too. Fly the W. Welcome on board. We're going to finish this up. In about a half an hour, we'll be moving over to spin tires. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't played the game before, so there will be some configuration going on. Um, I'm sorry, what's that? No, not multiplayer tonight. We'll be doing multiplayer tomorrow night. 
we're going to take a look at the game because I haven't even played it yet. So. Yeah, an I win button. Yes, wrapped if they're wrapped. Correct. And that's what I explain too. When I, when I go in the video, if you watch it, I do say, like, look, some people have a problem with this because it's it seems like it's cheating. But it is a game mechanic. The, the big thing is that the bales don't change prices. So where everything else fluctuates with the market, the bales just say the same price all the time. So Well wrapped. All right, let's get rid of this thing. Come on, stop crawling up the forks. Good grief. And I'm going to start speeding time up again, Kyle, because we're pretty much done for the day. All right. So let's, we'll let her rip, and we'll go to the next morning when we have to feed the cows again. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing, strawing and feeding the cows. Unfortunately, there's some grass material out here. We're just going to probably lose that. Now, we could mow this pasture. Do you want to do that? So uh, can crack a window in here. It's really hot. That's up to you, boss. Once yeah. Um, fly the W in general, I'd say 99.999%. Yes. Occasionally, if I'm, you know, like trying to get a video card setting or something, uh, I don't. But, um, yeah, in general, I post all my videos onto YouTube. Because people watch them. So, I mean, if I can do a video and then get, like, six or 700 views on YouTube, there's no reason why I wouldn't continue it, you know? So, yes, most of my Twitch videos go onto YouTube. A vast majority of them. All right, everything's there. Yep, it's all there. Kyle's all there. What's up, that the guy? How you doing tonight, buddy? Things are going well tonight. Kyle and I are just cleaning up the big bale mess that we made. And uh, freeing up one of the trailers for the next mow, which is coming up in, on Thursday of this farming week. <laughs> Could be sometime tonight. I don't know. Let me get outside here and... I mean, if you want, do, do you want to mow this pasture and, and use the grass? Uh, I guess we can. Bring it, well, bring it on up, my friend. All right. Bring the mower up. Is that SpongeBob? <laughs> bring it around town. And you do this, and this, and this, and that, and this, and that, and that, and this, and that, and then. <laughs> <laughs> the bubble. <laughs> That's how to blow the bubbles, right? <laughs> That was a great episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> exactly, Fireblade. Fire I honestly make more revenue from YouTube than I do from Twitch. I'll buy a long shot. But, yeah, if I keep going, I think Twitch will eventually catch up. So, All right, so this guy is done for now. Um, turn this off. Turn the lights off. Glad to hear that, that the guy, you're that you're the good guy. This tractor's going to need me a wash soon. Hi, Ryan. I mean, Seth. I'm watching I mean, whatever your name is. I know. Not tonight, kid. There's too much going on. Person. How am I going to do the middle tonight if I'm at mom's? What? How am I going to do the middle Thursday? You're not. I am. Nope. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Sorry, Sue. You, your mom will have to take you. I can't do it. I'm, I'm actually going on a date on Thursday, so I won't be here. <laughs> oh, you left your lights on, Kyle. Oops. Oopsie. Turn that off. I got it. I got it for you, brother. Saving the battery. And we're just going to make hay, right? So. Yeah. I'll need to grab the tether. Start this bad boy up. All right, come on. Fire up. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'm excited. I've been talking to this girl for about a week on the phone. I think I told you guys about it last time we streamed. And um, we were supposed to meet today, but she ended up, I guess she's been, uh, like, she has some, like, dietary issues. Yeah, you heard the word, the D word. And, man, is she a cute girl. I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> we'll see. But, anyway, um, she had a potluck at, lunch, at her work today, and... Um, she texted me early in the day and was like, hey, man, I ate a bunch of stuff I shouldn't have ate. And then, like, a couple hours later, she's like, I'm feeling pretty sick. And then she has an interview tomorrow at 7 in the morning um, that she picked up last week. So uh, I told her, I said, you know what, let's just, I said, does later in the week work? Because my kids aren't going to be here. So it'll be, you know, like less stress for me to try to find somebody to watch the kids and, you know, make sure everything's going right. I can just kind of go there and enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, I have an actual date. I'm going to meet this girl for the first time in person. Uh, we've mostly just been texting back and forth, but um, I met her through uh, uh, an online dating site called Christian Mingle, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> she seems like a very nice girl, so... Oh, I should have slowed time down. I'm sorry, Kyle. I'll stop right here so we don't go into total nighttime. <laughs> or do you want to just wait till the morning? Uh, I'll be fine. All right. <laughs> I'll just keep it going then. night mowing yeah I'm excited I'm, I'm, I'm uh, hoping for good luck we'll, we'll see what happens oh now I can't see at all okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to just wait yeah all right thank you George I appreciate that I definitely can use your prayers I, I told Micah I haven't really told a lot of people now I just told like 20 people so <laughs> I wanted to kind of keep it under wraps until it was a, a sure thing. So we'll see what happens. I still don't know where it's going to go or anything, but uh, Mike has been praying for me and stuff. So, <laughs> and a couple friends from church. So anyway, I'm excited about it. I think it'll be a, a fun time. And uh, it's nice because, you know, a lot of people are out there. They just want to date or whatever. I'm, I'm really looking for a wife. <laughs> and I told her that up front. I'm like, look, I'm not trying to scare you away. I'm looking to marry somebody. I don't, I'm not here to go on dates or hang out at the beach or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously looking for somebody to be a wife, and and that's what my my hope is. And so, you know, uh, we're going to go to Starbucks. She likes coffee. Actually, she loves Starbucks. So, I'm going to get a chai tea. I can't. Unfortunately, I can't do like the Starbucks coffee anymore. It really hurts my stomach. So, she's getting coffee. Good I'm getting night. tea. What'd you say? Skip the night. Alt N. Oh, can, oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, hang on. All right, then Alt N. Can we skip it? I don't think we could last time. Alt S shows me the menu, right? And we have night skip, right? Yeah. Keys and help menu on. Temperature scale. Season length. Snow mode. Snow tracks. Crop moisture. It just it doesn't give me the option. All right, then I guess we can't do it. Yeah, I, I think I don't know why it why it um. Maybe when you're doing multiplayer, you can't do it. Because I've been able to do it on my private games, but. Yeah, I I do it on my private games all the time, and if you hit, if you hold Alt and just hit in a whole bunch, it'll accelerate it up to six thousand. Okay. Well, you know, in single player. Right, it's not doing it. Hang on. Nope. All right, guess it doesn't work in multiplayer. <laughs> I guess turn off your tractor and hop out. It's off. Well, oh, somebody said you have to get out of the vehicle for it to work, but it's still not showing up. And I'm still within the time, I think. Like, as long as you do it before midnight. But yeah. It's still not showing up. Oh, well. Thank you, Dakota. I hope it works out for me, too. <laughs> It's a it's baby steps, man. I'm, it's it's the first step and probably many long ones if it's gonna ever work out. It's I would imagine that we'll probably be dating for a couple of years, and I need to get my finances in order before I marry somebody. So once I get my finances figured out and my house back in good standing and stuff like that, I'd be more willing to to marry somebody. But I think we're just gonna get to know each other and take our time. And she's got two daughters that are grown up, so that's nice because then you know it's like it's not like she has a bunch of little kids and I have a bunch of little kids. Um, and then, uh, she's my age, which I love that. It's funny because I was looking on the profiles. Everybody's either 50 or 35 and I'm like, 
there's nobody that's like 40 to 43 on there. This is the first girl I ran into that was like my age. And she's from really close. She only lives about 20 minutes away. So I smiled at her. <laughs> and she smiled back. I'm like, uh-oh, now what? <laughs> I guess I have to pay for a subscription. But uh, now we're texting on the phone, so we're not, you know, like going through that system anymore. So I can cancel my payments. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube news for payments, um, I've been looking at YouTube, buddy. A lot, a lot, a of, lot of guys use it. It has a lot of really good tools uh, for YouTubers, and um, I almost um, purchased it. But um, the the issue that I found with YouTube, buddy, is that it's like ten bucks a month, and I'm like, man, that's that's gonna like really add up. It's not a ton a month, but it's just it's a lot of money to add up. Well, I got an offer from them yesterday to get it for a lifetime for thirty nine ninety nine, and I'm like, boom, and I bought it. So um, hopefully this will help my channel grow uh, for the, on the YouTube end of things. It gives you just a ton of, a ton of tools for making uh, keywords. Like I, don't, I used to have to sit there and type every single keyword in. So how good do you think my keyword lists are? You know what I mean? Like if I have to sit there and remember everything, like, okay, Massey Ferguson, uh, tractor, uh, machinery, uh, Arthur drives a tractor, uh, John Deere. You know what I mean? Like I had to go through those lists every time. Well, now I can just save a list, make a huge list and save it, and then just copy it into each of my videos, and it helps my SEO go way up. So um, there's just some cool tools that it has, and there's a bunch of other stuff that it does too. So I'm, I'm excited about that product. And like I said, a lot of the YouTubers are using YouTube Buddy um, for their channels, and most of them are reporting that they get pretty good results with it. So hopefully that'll that'll help me a little bit to grow the channel and, and just get the word out there a little bit better because it's it's hard to stand out on YouTube. There's just so many people doing stuff right now. Like spin tires, I've probably lost it already. I don't think I'm going to ever be able to keep up with the people that are out there because already there's a million people doing spin tires videos and I'm, you know, two weeks behind the curve, but maybe not, maybe down the road. If I do some spin tires tutorials and stuff like that, it could help. Um, but, uh, all right. So what we're going to do here, Kyle and I are going to finish mowing this field and then we will, um, we're going to go ahead and do the spin tire stream. So, um, we should be able to do it pretty quickly finish once mowing? the sun comes up. Yep. <laughs> finish mowing. We haven't even started, started yet. Right. <laughs> Made it to the gate and it got too dark to move. Right, exactly. I'm interested to see did our did our crop survive? Um, I'm gonna go look over here. Yeah, it's still there. Well, and the we have we haven't frozen yet. Well, that's true. Oh well, it's just oilseed radish. We'll have to see if it if it makes it or not. I was hoping that it wouldn't pop. You know what I mean? Because that would be better if it did if it stayed in germination. But it might die. <laughs> It's a 50-50. I guess we'll find out when it happens. Wow, the sun's not up yet. It's already 7 o'clock in the morning. Whoa. Starting to come up. Starting to come up. And I'll run that Mudrunner stream till I don't know, probably midnight, maybe a little bit later. We'll have to see. Um, it just depends. Okay, there we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get out there and mow. Say goodnight and mow. Mowing the field. Oh, 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 easy. That's probably as far back as... How'd you even get that thing in there? Man, I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, that, that post that's directly behind the, okay. the header is, I don't know, like object transparent, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oops. Good morning. <laughs> I do love the way the sky looks in the morning. It really it, it really does look like a real like sunny morning starting late autumn sunny morning. Hopefully like tomorrow because I have a photo shoot I, that I already postponed one day. <laughs> What's going on up there? I don't know. It's not letting me turn it on. It's what? Uh -huh. Ah, there we go. I don't own this field. Oh. Rats. Try 38. All right. I'm backing out. I'm backing out. Or should we just wait till tomorrow? 
Tomorrow's Wednesday. We should we give it one more day of growth? Yeah. All right. I guess we'll just put these back down at the farm for the night, a day night. Well, we can we can preposition. Okay. I'll get out of the way. I'll let you go. You go first. I'm gonna back behind you. <laughs> I guess that means it's time for Mud Runner, everybody. <laughs> are you gonna watch the stream, Kyle, or are you gonna catch it on YouTube tomorrow? I am probably going to play some Warframe and then go to bed. Okay. <laughs> I'll I'll watch it another time. Yep. I'll be posting it on Facebook tomorrow, so you'll you will have your chance, Guido. Well, that's a bummer. So I guess that's why you have to. People were saying if you buy that other field, you get this field too, like that field too. I think that's part of 39, 39, which also goes down behind the building and stuff. Oh, okay. Cal, you're drifting. <laughs> oh, that was on purpose. <laughs> like, dude, you're losing it. All right, so are we going to start now? Or? No, we'll just save it. That's fine. I want it to go. I want to go one more day, uh, because it's going to be like snowing on Thursday. But if we wait till Wednesday, we'll get one more day of growth. It might even pop another level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is what we want. I don't want to. Oops. What did I do? Okay. Oh, you turned yours off. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this exciting episode of Massey Ferguson Farm as we fed the cows and piled stuff and. Got ready for the last mow of the year. We're about to go into my first winter. I have not been through winter before yet in the Seasons mod. Um, once again, we're going to be testing out to see if the if the um, oilseed radish can survive the winter um, or if it just is going to die and disappear um, or if it becomes fertilizer when it dies. We'll have to see. Uh, so thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. And uh, for those of you that are watching the stream, give me about five minutes here. i got to go potty. And uh, we will pick up again, but uh, thumbs up always help. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Farming Simulator 17, Massey Ferguson Farms. Say goodnight, Kyle. Night. See you guys later.